Sports Homebrew coming at ya. Happy Homebrew Sunday. <laughs> and uh, uh, this today's today's uh, session is brought to you by the perfect porter from the Dean's List. That's right. I'm gonna dig into this. Uh, we're out. We've been out practicing social distancing. Uh, the wife and I and my son and grandsons all took a hike through the wetlands, which is much larger than many people think. So that was fun. And we were cleaning the environment while we were out there. We brought quite a haul uh, back to the trash can. Oh, that's a pretty looking porter. Look at that. Oh, that smells good, Mike. Wow. And of course, brew tubers. I got a brew tubers. In fact, I should wear, be wearing my brew tubers cap. Cap. You should uh, check into getting one of those. And my glass here, if you can see the dog, that's brought to you by Lair Mode 22. That's right. Over at the Black Dog Saloon. So, Zane Maxwell from down in New Zealand sent out just the best audio. Uh, uh, and it's it's a gal that's work, working with a doctor, and they were they've gotten a lot of studies in uh, from patients in China. China's done autopsies and so forth, and it was some really great information. I sent it out to a lot of you, but nuts and bolts of some of it is basically it's very much a respiratory virus. It's it goes in and it, it causes a lot of respiratory issues, and so uh, you're going to get a lot of phlegm and everything building up, and then it's hard to get stuff down. And, and what some of the suggestions, I'm going to just pass on a few uh, that are quick and easy to do, besides washing regularly, uh, uh, washing your hands, they said every 20 or every hour or 20 minutes, I think that might be obsessive if, if you're in your home. But they're saying that it stays on metals. I've heard someplace say 72 hours, and some have said up to eight days uh, that the virus can stand metal. So clean, clean your metal surfaces. They say it sticks to hair and clothing very readily. So they say when you go out, when you come back home, if you've been out, uh, particularly if you're in stores, things of that nature with other people, strip down, put on some new clothes, and wash your clothes. And if you can't wash your clothes, hang them out in the sun, because the sun will kill off the virus. In order to keep the respiratory area clear, they said sip on some warm or hot water like every 20 minutes. So it could be coffee, tea, just warm water, any warm beverages. And actually they said avoid cold beverages. So I'll sip on something warm after having this, right? <laughs> and observe all the other healthy stuff. But the, the warm water was kind of unique. Some really good sound tips with all of that. And uh, just things that we can add to our repertoire just to be smart and safe. The grandkids, their, their mother got sick. So um, instead of split week with them, we're keeping them a little bit extra and just finding outdoor activities to do while it's sunny and uh, trying not to stay indoor too much because it's going to be raining here soon and then we'll save those indoor activities for then. But um, finding ways to keep the kids active and happy and healthy along the way is a wise thing to do. And I know probably many of you have kids, so uh, God bless you. Uh, you know, uh, that could be challenging, but uh, we had a good movie night with popcorn and, and uh, some homemade root beer that we still have. That's right. Grandpa's been sparingly sending that out uh, since we made that, um, and uh, who knows what we'll make next. I know for many, income is an issue, and uh, that's a concern. Uh, I service restaurants and technology, so my business is pretty well way 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 down to nothing almost and my wife's a substitute teacher so it, it's a challenging period and it is going to be for many of you uh, trying to weigh out whether to take some part-time work elsewhere but of course that exposes me and I'm 59 um, so we'll we'll have to see it's funny when I do little bits of work I get uh, I can make as much in an hour as I would make um, in, in half a day working outside uh, when I'm working. So uh, going to weigh out options and we're going to be discussing those for us. And hopefully you're gainfully employed uh, and have safe practices. But if not, uh, our, our well wishes go to you and your families too. 
uh, during this challenging time. And to all the people in the brewing industry, uh, we have many friends that have gone pro and um, hoping that you can uh, make it through this time. Uh, uh, we really do. Um, and uh, my friends in the restaurant industry, I mean, just nothing but well wishes uh, to get through these challenging times. I'm no different than anyone else. I mean, these periods of time is really important to stay mentally healthy. So much of our health is based on our mental perspective. Um, and, and I'm no different from anyone. I fight those things. But um, actually, I think I'm almost doing better right now in these challenging times than, than other times. Um, just being able to uh, focus on staying active and focusing on the good and the healthy things and family and kids and all, all those important things. And I, I hope that you do that too, that you you find solace and happy things, find good reading, find good activities, get some exercise, get outside if you can. Um, you know, it's beautiful outside. We've been watching woodpeckers and you name it out in the wild. Uh, I encourage you to do that. Cameron, what were we doing today? Come on over and talk to the people. Um, we were, we took a walk. Yeah, like a hike, right? Uh-huh. And then we played at the park. But then we washed our hands and we got home, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. And then we stayed healthy. Yeah, we were out in the sun. And what all did we see out there today? We saw snakes. A lot of snakes, didn't we? Uh-huh. We saw one that was had a really green hues and little things on the side, huh? pretty big one and did grandpa pick up one and then fall down mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he threw it at me which was <laughs> by accident because I was picking it up and then I fell over because I was on a hill and as I was falling down to catch myself I threw the snake and it hit his pants yeah so I backed away from grandpa for a little bit but now I know he's safe because yeah. he doesn't have the snake anymore yeah yeah he threw it down the hill <laughs> I definitely have. Yeah. We've been touching things that the animals have Can been touching. Can I touch? So we're picking up trash as we go. I found an old boot. And Gray is officially, Grayson's officially spotting all of the snakes for us. <laughs> and what else have we been doing? We've been gardening, right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're doing bunny hops. Yep, so there's, do some healthy activities, get out. I've been sweeping um, out here. He's been sweeping, yeah, oh you got yeah. got dirt in your hair. Yeah, now I do. We just made two courts. They have an opening on this side going to two beds. This one's Eli's and this one's mine. We're going to be living in these because that's these the are only courts. survival. And then we're going to use our weapons where... Ever we put them. And uh, doing things to kill viruses, you know, alcohol is good for that. My brewing's not been all that great of late. Um, I've been very distracted here with grandkids, and the, the biggest problem I've had is leaving on yeast too long and then having terrible tasting beer. So I'm gonna, I may not do a lot of brewing till they move out, I believe in May or late May. Uh, we might kind of hang back a little on brewing, but we'll see. And uh, anyway, I hope you guys are all safe. I hope you're all healthy. And we will catch you all later. Cheers.